Video game movies aren't ever really good, but there comes a time when they're so bad it's funny. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 hilariously bad moments in video game movies. For this list, we'll be taking a look at moments in video game movies that were so awful you can't help but laugh. Number 10, Wesker's Sunglasses, Resident Evil Afterlife. I ingest you. I gain control. The Resident Evil series of movies are interesting. At the start of their run, they actually weren't terrible. We dare say that they were enjoyable. But then came overpowered Alice. Clones, a cluster of CGI, 3D, that damn laser room scene being reused like Tupperware, and of course, an attempt to appease fans by including game favorites like <sighs> Albert Wesker. The man, the myth, the sunglasses. I told you I'd be bringing a few friends. You should have brought more. Look, we adore our cheesy Matrix jacket-wearing villain, but movie Wesker? He's hilarious for all the wrong reasons. Seriously, what are we supposed to make of that shit-eating grin and slow-motion sunglasses toss? Gentlemen, good grooming is essential, but it's rarely comfortable. Luckily, the engineers at Manscaped have made below-the-belt grooming a breeze with the perfect package and lawnmower 3.0 premium trimmer. This bad boy uses a cutting-edge ceramic blade and LED light for a precise shave with zero manscaping mishaps. And there's no rush because the lawnmower 3.0 has fast USB charging and lasts up to 90 minutes. Throw out that razor and show your most sensitive assets some love with the best trimmer on the market. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOJO at manscaped.com. Number 9. The Elevator Scene. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> this movie is the live-action personification of the world. Huh? From the perplexing opening narration to the film having the nerve to hint at a sequel, Mario's cinematic adventure is a disastrous masterpiece. By the time you reach the elevator scene, you just accept the goofiness for what it is. How will our heroes escape a cramped space full of those, uh, those are supposed to be Goombas, right? Will they jump on their heads or sway their bodies in time with the elevator music to get them to dance? <laughs> we suppose it's the most humane way of going about it. Number eight, punching the shark. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, the cradle of life. Sometimes video game movies do get something right. Angelina Jolie playing Lara Croft just made sense in the early 2000s. That being said, did she really just punch a shark? Okay, yes. It's been said that punching a shark near its eye is the best thing to do in the rare, yes, rare, chance of an attack. But Lara being Lara, uh, well, takes safety precautions to a whole new level of absurdity. Not only does she bait the shark with her blood, which wouldn't work, as sharks don't care much for humans, she punches it and rides it to the surface of the water. Number seven, Guile's Speech, Street Fighter. Let's take a moment to appreciate Raul Julia's performance as M. Bison, because we'll never look at Tuesdays the same way again. Now that that's out of the way, Jean-Claude Van Damme as Guile. Our superiors say the war is canceled. We can all go home. Not even Guile's theme could save us, though we would have appreciated the effort in the supposedly inspirational scene. But we can all go home. When his troops are told to stop their pursuit of M. Bison and Shadalo, Guile gears up for one of those cliche leader addressing his people monologues. Freedom and justice, they get packed up, but we can all go home. 
It comes off as a hammed up bore, complete with swelling music and a repetitive phrase. Who wants to go home? We do. Number six, feel your animality. Mortal Kombat, Annihilation. Yes, we could do an entire list for this movie alone, and picking just one hilarious scene had us fighting it out on the pit stage. You're alive. Too bad you will die. From Sindel's dramatic declaration of death to her daughter, to Jack's one-liners, to everything. Absolutely everything. But there's one scene that perfectly captures the terabad that is Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Feel your animality. Throughout the movie, we're being force-fed the concept of animalities. And immediately your heart fills with a mix of anticipation and dread because you know they're going to do it. Come on, just scrunch your face up like you're constipated, almost, and boom, animality times two. Ah, now I done seen everything. Number five, sword fight. In the name of the king, a dungeon siege tale. Ladies and gentlemen, Uwe Boll. We wouldn't blame you if you decided to bail on the rest of this video. If you're still here, then clearly you're a masochist. I knew you'd come, old friend. Bull has tried his hand at bringing several video game properties to life, and we'll be covering a couple more later. Dungeon Siege shows the director's attempt at medieval fantasy, and trust us when we say that children playing in their backyard pretending like sticks or swords is a more thrilling adventure. Enough! However, if you're into clumsy sword fights where two foes use their, um, minds to do whatever this is, then this is the film for you. You have no idea how powerful Madness can be. Number four, Zombie Slaughter, House of the Dead. You know that light gun shooter at every arcade? Yeah, Bull turned that into a movie. There's a huge party on a zombie infested island that was apparently sponsored by Sega. Everyone's just trying to survive the undead, and the clips from the video game being spliced into the film, this leads to one glorious moment where everyone grabs a gun, walks towards the camera as a team, and goes to town. Highlights include the camera circling around each character who have different guns during that shot, that damn Matrix slow motion trick. And to top it all off, a rock song that belts out the name of the film. Perfect. Number three, Little Germany, Postal. A pickup truck. Well, that's classy. Some games just aren't meant to be made into movies, and anything from the Postal series is a testament to that. The ability to kill the annoyances of everyday life doesn't make for great cinema. But hey, Uwe Boll is Uwe Boll, and we got the Postal movie that no one asked for. In a rather bizarre scene, even for Boll, the creator of the game shows up to complain directly to Boll about the quality of the movie in the middle of a shootout at a German-themed amusement park. Officers, you realize there's a huge fight? going on a stage right now? Yeah. It ends with Bull being shot in the crotch and revealing his darkest secret. I hate video games. <laughs> Number two, do me up, DOA, dead or alive. Look, we get it. When we're adapting a movie, you want to have nods to the source material. This can be through costumes, plot points, or in the case of DOA, gratuitous amounts of fan service. Would you hand me my prop, please? It's no secret that this fighting game franchise likes its bouncy polygons, so no one would be surprised at the manufactured sexuality of the film. But this scene right here. Whew, this is too much. Fresh from a shower, of course, Christy finds herself under arrest. Don't worry, she's armed with a towel, just the right camera angles, and a bra that lands on her breasts perfectly. You heard the woman. Do me up. 
Now, in the interest of time, this list could go on forever, and this could be millions of films. However, before we get to the best of the worst, let's give you a You Tried sticker to these dishonorable mentions. Give me a medic. Give me a medic. Hey, someone give me a rescue flow. Give me a rescue flow. Give me a medic. Give me a medic. Give me a rescue flow. No. She's not talking to you now. What? Destiny has brought together the double dragons. The serum works. You've domesticated them. You've done it. Congratulations. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Best Death Ever Blood Rain. So, we meet again. We've tackled this beast before over on our Mojo Plays channel, picked it apart, and left scraps of it on the cutting room floor. But it bears repeating, this movie is abysmal. A disservice to the game it's trying to represent. A disservice to movies everywhere. <laughs> Picking just one bad scene is laughable since every minute makes you want to beg for a higher power's forgiveness. Please, Lord. Because clearly, you had to have sinned. Why else would you be subjected to this torture? You act as though you're the only one who feels pain. What do you know of pain? But we had to give it to Michael Madsen's performance, especially his death scene. Just look at that face. That face is all of our faces after suffering through this flick. We're with you, Michael. We're with you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.